So uh, here's a little bit of an idea of what this system can do uh, just with some some quick uh, calculations here and and actually there's there's a nice graphic I'll have to point to in the book it's on page 67 uh, that they actually show um, the the result of working through all of the different possible calculations they show it on a nice little on a nice little graph uh, all the different possible combinations here and they show that on the number line I'll just um, let's see where should I put that let's just uh, uh, let's. Well, we don't need to look at that. Uh, whoops. I don't know where to put it. Let's put it down here. Okay. So for this number system, what the number line looks like. Let's draw a number line here. What the number line looks like. Okay. So let's get zero. Uh, well, and so you remember from before, it's just going to be folded in half, right? Uh, at zero. Um, and so rather than drawing both sides, ah, well, let's draw both sides. It's fine. Uh, and then, the, so the maximum value is going to be 7. Um, and then what happens, and, and you'll see this, you'll see this on the graphic, is there are, um, there are sort of all these different values in here, and they're not evenly spaced um, that we can represent and then I, I don't know something like this um, well let's let's not do that because uh, and then what you see is you have you have this uh, behavior here where you've got all these values where you got all these values in here that you can represent uh, and then you sort of get a little further apart, uh, and then uh, you get some some values in here we can represent, uh, and then uh, you get a little further apart, uh, and then sort of further apart. And this is sort of sort of what happens, and so and then and then ugh, again pain. Uh, you get the same thing on the other side. Um, Let's just put a few of these on here. I don't know, something like this. They just get further and and further apart. Whoops. And this is going to be minus seven, and and they show you they show you again in the book a, a little bit better graphic, but there are two things that we need to realize here. One is that not only do we have this overflow problem, okay, the the overflow problem. Anything bigger than this, anything bigger than seven, gets chopped off to seven. Seven is, is the best we can do in terms of large. So if we have a number like 1,000 and we're going to say uh, it's approximately seven. <laughs> okay, so obviously we're going to need more bits than this to do a very good job with the floating point uh, number representation. But, um, but, but not only do we have this overflow problem, because uh, nothing bigger than seven can be represented here, uh, we also have this underflow. Uh, we'll call it a hole. There is a hole right here. There's this big space between zero and the next largest value that can be represented. And in fact, uh, we looked at how big that hole is, right? Um, the, actually, the difference between uh, these two numbers isn't actually that great. It's, it's actually fairly small. That's that's our delta x at, at the low side. If we call delta x the different just between our delta x here is that's pretty good. Um, we can represent pretty close numbers, um, but our uh, the, the difference between zero and this number is, is actually sort of large. And so this is this is what we have this underflow hole problem. Now uh, the other thing that we have to point out here is that even though we do have this underflow problem, it's not as serious as our overflow problem. Because with the overflow problem, anything larger than 7 is approximated to 7. You can have some pretty gross errors there. Um, with the underflow problem, 
you know, anything smaller than 0 0.0625 is going to be approximated uh, by, you know, either that or zero. So, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> at least we know we've got a fairly close value here for the underflow hole. But, but that can still be, uh, that can still be a, a fairly major problem, and, and we'll see that where that really comes up with. And so these are, these are sort of, sort of the main points to take away from the floating point number representation is really what you get uh, from this number line graphic. We still have a finite number of quantities that can be represented. We still have all these holes uh, in between the numbers. Uh, we still have, and, and so that problem doesn't go away. Um, we still have uh, this overflow problem. Additionally, we do have this underflow hole uh, as well. Um, the other thing is that the closer to zero you are, the closer together your numbers are, and the further the way you get, the further apart your numbers are. Um, but overall, I, I mean, it sounds like all I'm all I'm doing is pointing out the the problems with this system. Overall, this system, uh, even though it does take a few more bits to represent uh, your your numbers well, is much better than the floating point uh, than than the floating point number system because, or excuse me, than the fixed point number system because because we totally solve this uh, this scaling problem. We can normalize numbers now um, where we couldn't really do that before uh, with a fixed point system. So so this is actually a very, very uh, nice uh, improvement over this fixed point system, but it doesn't it doesn't come without at least, at least some cost. Uh, an interesting thing, I, <laughs> I, I guess, uh, if you wanted to know, uh, there are some some computer programs. For example, uh, if you've ever played the the game Minecraft, uh, it's sort of a popular game. Uh, they they actually um, don't bother. Uh, a lot of times when uh, when people write code, they they sort of hard code some limit. Anything bigger than you know any number bigger than this, you just don't don't let that happen. Uh, we just say that's the limit of of I mean, in Minecraft it's the world right uh, the limit of the world but but they don't do that they just say well we'll just let the we'll just let the hardware limit it we'll just let the hardware run out and so a as you get further and further away from the zero zero point on a map uh, you actually get if you get far enough away you actually get this funny behavior uh, that's actually caused uh, by this problem that that your your um, spacings between numbers is actually further and further apart. So uh, this is another another problem, another issue that comes with uh, floating point number representation.